So I have the double pleasure tonight to present this topic to you. First of all, because for the first time in my life, I present... A little bit slowly. A little bit slowly. First in time in my life, I present as doctor because I passed my license exam today. And uh, also in front of my old professors from my alma mater. So, let's move on. I have uh, collaborated with the Herglia Lifestyle Center and chosen from their statistics 533 patients having a BMI, meaning, meaning a obesity grade one, two, or three. This is what they went through. They all went through the same treatment, 10 days of lifestyle interventions with exercise one hour per day. We also saw that all of the patients had the same lab tests taken at the second day and at the last day, meaning in total after eight days, we will see the change, what happened. The hypothesis that I worked with was that no matter the gender, no matter the age, no matter the exercise intensity, no matter if they were obese of the first, second or third degree, they would all see a significant improvement. And no matter if they were at all having the metabolic syndrome or not. So those, we divided this into two groups. One having the metabolic syndrome and one not having it. Those who had it, they were diagnosed by the IDF criteria, meaning they all had to have a BMI above 30 and out of the three following, triglycerides abnormal, HDL abnormal, or fasting blood sugar abnormal. So 449 patients ended up in the metabolic syndrome group, and out of the others, 84 ended up with the non-metabolic syndrome group, meaning just being obese. So the definition of the study is an interventional comparative study between the metabolic syndrome patients and the non-metabolic syndrome patients, obese patients. We also measured quickly the differences between the previous value in their cholesterol and after eight days. We saw a significant, a significant decrease by 15.8% in the metabolic syndrome group. And no matter the gender, no matter the age, no matter the exercise intensity, no matter their weight, they all had a significant improvement. Also did the non-metabolic syndrome group as well. We can also see that the results are comparable to one of the most powerful potent statins that are, are on the market right now, statin. We saw just in eight days that we saw a comparable result with the diet and exercise to this treatment. But bear in mind that those who received statin had a genetical disease with too high cholesterol and also received the treatment for four weeks. So we see that this is highly significant what we reached after eight days. And we also measured the LDL, meaning the bad cholesterol. And there also we saw the decrease being almost 20%. As well, no matter any other factors besides the diet and exercise. And we also saw a decrease in the non-metabolic syndrome group as well. Okay. And just to make this sure, you cannot, without pills or without this change, make a decreased LDL possible. So as Peter Wilson stated, well, yes, if you're not a vegan, you will have to take statins. So it's either or. Now we come to one of the three risk factors for the metabolic syndrome. Very interesting finding is that the HDL increased highly significantly. And we saw an increase by 6.7%, no matter what group they were in. We always see a better increase in those who exercise more. And those who had the highest body weight, of course, they bear more weight. That's also why they had a better increase in their HDL, meaning because weightlifting is increasing the HDL and they truly did some weightlifting. Let's continue. Oh, sorry, excuse me. The plasma, fasting plasma glucose improved as well. And what is very significant here is that it virtually reached a cured level, meaning the cutoff level between healthy and disease is 100. So here you can see that in less than 10 days, you can achieve going from pre-diabetes to healthy. Triglycerides. Also here, no matter if you were just obese, not having no metabolic syndrome, or if you were obese, having the metabolic syndrome, you had a very highly significant finding. 
It's uh, very amazing to see that uh, how God created in seven days, He can recreate you in eight days also. And the last one that we're looking here at the statistics is in combined factor of arthrogenic index of plasma. It's the triglycerides divided by the HDL, meaning that if you have high triglycerides and low HDL, that's even worse when it comes to developing atherosclerosis. And here we saw a de decrease by almost half in the group that were in the metabolic syndrome. So conclusions, not just seeing that it improved, but we also saw that 20.2% of the ones who were in the metabolic syndrome group, they reversed their the disease. They were cured after just eight days. Besides this, we also saw improvements in the non-metabolic syndrome group, meaning that it's preventative, but as well as therapeutical. So this confirms the title, the metabolic syndrome and its therapeutical prevention, because how you prevent it is how you treat it. So with these wise words, when we've talked so much about the heart, I would like to quote King Solomon. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you.